check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. Hello, connoisseurs of the curious and champions of the chuckle-worthy. Welcome aboard the Quirky Chronicle Express, where the only ticket you need is your sense of humor. In this video, we're not just delving into conspiracy theories, we're diving, somersaulting, and maybe even belly flopping into a pool of the most hilariously bizarre theories the internet has coughed up. So grab your popcorn, or a giant mug of coffee, and your dog. Because trust me, you'll want a witness to the craziness we're about to uncover together. Did you know some people think we're living on a giant pancake? That's right, the flat earth theory. Now, I've heard of flattening the curve, but this is ridiculous. This theory insists that instead of a globe, we're dwelling on an enormous cosmic flapjack. And you know what's even better? Apparently we're all surrounded by a giant ice wall. You know, like in that show with the dragons and the winter that was always coming? And here's the cherry on top, or should I say, the syrup on the pancake. There's actually a flat Mars society. Yes, you heard it right, because why should Earth have all the fun being flat? Mars wants in on the action too. It's not just Earth that gets to defy physics. Mars is joining the pancake party, so next time you're playing frisbee, remember you're actually practicing Earth tossing. Ever heard the phrase, the moon is made of cheese? Well, some folks took it quite literally. They looked up at that big, round, crater-filled beauty in the night sky and thought, yup, that's a giant wheel of camembert. Now just imagine the implications of such a dairy delight hovering above us. Could you imagine the size of the cheese grater we'd need for that? And what about the mice? The space program would have had a lot more volunteers if they were recruiting from the rodent community. And let's not forget about the economy. Who needs gold or oil when you've got lunar gouda? The cheese market would skyrocket, and the moon would be the new Middle East. Instead of oil rigs, we'd have cheese mining operations and the term moonshot would take on a whole new meaning. Makes you wonder if the man on the moon is actually a mouse, doesn't it? Birds chirping outside your window? Think again, they might just be drones spying on you. Yep, you heard me right, folks. The birds aren't real theory suggests that our feathered friends have been extinct since the 70s. But don't despair bird lovers, they've been replaced by crafty government drones disguised as pigeons, sparrows, and even the occasional peacock. Ever wondered why you never see birds at the charging stations? It's because they charge on power lines, of course. And let's not forget about the dodo. Extinct, you say? Nah, just an early prototype. Too bulky to fly and too conspicuous. They've slimmed down the design since then. And remember those chirpy morning wake-up calls? That's the government saying, rise and shine, we're watching you. So next time a bird poops on your car, remember it's just government surveillance gone wrong. Ever wanted to visit Finland or Australia? Bad news, they might not even exist. Now I know what you're thinking. What about all those gide made and put another shrimp on the Barbie lines we've heard? Well, according to a theory that's as twisted as a pretzel, Australia is just a figment of our collective imagination. That's right, those Aussies you've met? They're all actors or CGI and kangaroos? Those hopping marsupials are nothing more than a computer programmer's pixelated prank. And then there's Finland. Finland, the land of a thousand lakes. Or is it? The theory suggests that this Nordic nation is a fictional landmass invented by the Japanese and Soviet governments during the Cold War. To what end, you ask? To secure fishing rights in the Baltic Sea, of course. So, those Finnish folks you've met? Yep, you guessed it. They're actors, too. I guess that explains why I've never seen a kangaroo and a Finnish person in the same room. Ever wondered how the pyramids were built? Well, some people believe it was dinosaurs. Yes, you heard right, folks. Dinosaurs. Those giant reptilian beasts we've only seen in museums and Spielberg movies. Now, I know what you're thinking. But dinosaurs had tiny arms. Well, these theorists have thought of that too, and they're not talking about any old dinosaur. They're talking about the mighty T-Rex with a brain the size of a walnut, trading in its carnivorous lifestyle to become... an architect. Picture this. A T-Rex, hard hat balanced on its head, blueprints clutched in its tiny forelimbs, squinting at a pyramid design and growling in approval. Or better yet, a pterodactyl swooping overhead dangling a colossal stone block from its claws, narrowly avoiding a head-on collision with a disgruntled Brachiosaurus. Chaos and construction, my friends, in the heart of the Cretaceous period. And the best part? These pyramids weren't just for show. Oh no, they were multi-purpose. Some theorists suggest they were giant power plants, Others believe they were alien landing sites, and my personal favorite, they were the dinosaur's attempt at a stairway to heaven. 
Who knew dinosaurs were such Led Zeppelin fans? Now I can hear the skeptics among you. But the dinosaurs went extinct 65 million years ago, the pyramids were built around 4,000 years ago. Well, according to these theorists, some dinosaurs survived, evolved, and got their diplomas in civil engineering. Maybe they time-traveled, who knows? The possibilities are as endless as a velociraptor's love for interior design. So, the next time you're watching Jurassic Park, remember those are not monsters. They're master builders. And instead of running away from that T-Rex, ask it for some home renovation tips. After all, they were the original pioneers of open-concept living, right? Or was that the Flintstones? Either way, I think we can all agree, life, uh, finds a way, especially when it comes to building pyramids. Love the Beatles? Well you might be shocked to know that Paul McCartney might have been a look-alike for the last 60 years. That's right folks, some believe that the real Paul McCartney left the building in 1966, and we've been bobbing our heads to an imposter ever since. This theory suggests that the real McCartney was a die-hard Elvis Presley fan. After an intense argument about whether Hound Dog was superior to Yellow Submarine, he decided to fake his own death and become an Elvis impersonator in Vegas. The Beatles in a state of panic found a look-alike, taught him to play bass, and voila the show went on. And you thought the Beatles' story was just about four lads from Liverpool making good music. It's more like a zombie movie with a dash of Elvis Presley and a sprinkle of Yellow Submarine. Makes you wonder if the real Paul is now living in a Yellow Submarine. Think your boss is tough? Imagine if he was a shape-shifting reptilian alien. Yes, you heard right. The lizard people theory posits that our world leaders are in fact cold-blooded, slithery overlords in disguise. Now I don't know about you, but that would certainly explain why office thermostats are always set to dessert. They're just trying to keep their scales shiny, and their tongues flickering at optimum speed. And those cold-blooded policies? Well, they're just trying to turn Earth into a giant terrarium. And why stop at world leaders? What if the barista who made your morning coffee was a lizard? Maybe that's why they can never spell your name right on the cup. It's not Susan with an S, it's Susan with an S. They're not making mistakes, they're just speaking in their native tongue. So next time your boss gives you the cold shoulder, remember he might just be a lizard. Ever watched a moon landing video? Well, it might just be Stanley Kubrick's greatest film ever. Now I know what you're thinking. 2001, A Space Odyssey was a masterpiece. But consider this, what if it was just a warm-up for the Apollo moon landings? This theory suggests that NASA, unsatisfied with merely reaching the moon, decided to make it a blockbuster event. So who do they call, none other than Hollywood's own Stanley Kubrick? I mean, space is a sound stage, right? Now picture this, Neil Armstrong, Buzz Aldrin and Michael Collins, not just astronauts but actors, rehearsing their moonwalk in Kubrick's secret space studio. I can see it now. Cut! Neil, you botched the line, it's one small step for man, not one giant leap for mankind, come on, get it together man. So, next time you watch a space movie, remember it might just be a moon landing sequel. Think the Earth is solid? Some folks believe it's as hollow as a chocolate Easter egg. Yes, you heard that right, the hollow Earth theory. This one's been around for centuries, like an old, persistent cough. The theory suggests that there's a whole other world inside our planet, complete with its own sun, advanced civilizations, and probably even its own version of the Kardashians. Imagine the real estate prices there, eh? And let's not forget about the Inner Earth tourism. Could you imagine the brochure? Visit scenic Inner Earth, enjoy a relaxing vacation away from the sun, moon, and all things above ground. And speaking of ground, what about digging? I mean, if we're all just living on a giant crust, then every time you dig a hole in your backyard, you're potentially ruining some subterranean citizen's rooftop garden. So next time you dig a hole, remember, you might just hit someone's roof. There you have it, folks. The world is a pancake, birds are drones and Australia is just a figment of our imagination. We've taken a wild ride through the labyrinth of laughable lore. From the moon being a cosmic cheese wheel in the night sky, to the audacious avians watching our every move. We've discovered that Finland and Australia are just tall tales, spun by some very imaginative governments. We've also uncovered the startling revelation that the pyramids were the pet project of some particularly ambitious dinosaurs with a knack for architecture. Let's not forget the melodious McCartney, who apparently has been giving us posthumous performances since 1966. The world, it seems, is run by shape-shifting lizards in disguise, and our moon landing? Well, it was all just a Kubrick film set. And if you thought the Earth was solid, think again, it's as hollow as this theory. 
Remember, in a world full of conspiracy theories, the biggest one might be that we take ourselves too seriously. Until next time, keep laughing and questioning everything.